Hey everybody, welcome back to Flag Slash Fan Friday. Hope you like the Molly episode. So you know the deal, this is the part where I talk about the mistakes that I either made in the video or stuff that I left out of the video. For one, at the 58 second mark, I accidentally said Goa instead of Gao. Whoa, that was a huge mistake, sorry. I know all you Indians out there were like, what the? Another thing, I wanted to talk more about the Mali Empire but didn't have time. It was a huge deal. I mean, without it, pretty much all of the trans-Saharan trade sector would have been either frail or non-existent. And uh, Mansa Musa, man, during his pilgrimage to Mecca in the 14th century, according to my research, he brought 60,000 men, including 12,000 slaves, silks, handlebags, over 80 camels, each carrying about 23 to 136 kilograms of gold. He bought souvenirs and reportedly built a mosque every Friday. He was super rich. I forgot to mention also, for one year, they were unified with Senegal as one country. It was called the Mali Federation, but then it broke off. Also, unfortunately, in 2012, a lot of historic sites were destroyed by rebel groups. But still, Timbuktu is still today seen as as one of the most important and notable sites of African history. All right, so that's just about it. Uh, time to move on to the flag. So without further ado. Ah, Mali, the land of gold, mud, cotton, and thousands of symbols. Where should we start? Oh yeah, the flag. The flag of Mali is a vertical tricolor of green, gold, and red, utilizing the pan-African colors like many of their neighbors. Also keep in mind, the flag is the complete mirror image of Guinea's flag. The green stands for the fertility of the land, the gold stands for the purity and mineral wealth, especially in gold, and the red stands for... Once again, thank you, Ken, for making that animation. Ken, you've successfully avoided getting fired for one more week. In appreciation, I will let you wear shoes the next time we have to walk on gravel when you're filming me on location. Keep in mind, at one point, there was another variant flag of Mali. It included the traditional stickman figure, or the Kanaga, on it. And they kind of got the idea from the former French Sudan flag when they were under the French, obviously. However, the Islamic fundamentalists in the country decided they wanted to remove it because they figured it was kind of wrong because it was a depiction of a human figure, which is against their religion. Otherwise. Yeah, that's just about it. Uh, moving on, the emblem. The emblem of Mali is a blue disc with a bird on top. Many say the bird is a vulture and some say it's a dove, but so far it's not completely confirmed by the government, so they just leave it up for debate. Under the bird lies the Great Mosque of Jene, a symbol of Islam and culture. On the sides are two bows and arrows in front of a rising sun. On the top are the words Republique du Mali, and at the bottom, the national motto, Un peuple, un peu, une foi, which means one people, one goal, and one faith. Prior to this, they only used one other emblem after independence. It was basically the exact same thing except it was a red disc with a green border and the mosque and the bows and arrows were brown But yeah, that's uh, just about it. So uh, there's only one thing left to do. You know what time it is geography fan mail time All right continuity error. Uh, it is now eight hours after I just filmed that last part uh, We're gonna start opening up packages, but before we do got a little guest star yeah. Hi guys <laughs> All right, Ken, ready to open up some stuff? Yes. We always start off with postcards. We got a postcard from Rob in Germany. Uh, I think your name is Kaya. You visited the Trevi Fountain in Rome, Italy. We got a postcard from Maldives, the episode we just worked on. Oh, yeah. From Luke. Christoph, who visited the Blue Lagoon in Malta. Uh, we got a postcard from Sapporo, Japan. Thanks, Jeff. Scotland. Jacques, who visited Islay, Scotland? Is that how you pronounce it? Islay? Best regards from Craig and Amy. You guys visited Zanzibar, and that's a cool place. Thomas, Thomas from Germany. Germany visited Geneva, Switzerland. Stefan from the Vatican City. I'm pretty sure he just visited. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he visited. <laughs> I've never gotten a letter from an actual priest from the Vatican, but we'll see. Aurore, who is Scottish, but visited Luxembourg. Max, who visited Amsterdam. Jack and Adam from Colorado and San Francisco. David and Maria. We got two postcards from Hawaii. Aloha. Clement, who visited the Philippines. We got a postcard from Innsbruck. <laughs> Thank you, Leonardo. Eric visited Rosedale, Wisconsin. Trent at Washington, D.C. All right, let's open some letters. Jeff from Bellingham, Washington. Some kind of flag? flag. Bellingham flag, Oh, yeah. it's the flag of Bellingham. Oh, it even has a little description of it. You didn't write anything. You just gave an explanation, but cool. Thanks a lot, yeah. man. Uh, Adam from New Jersey sent this over. Um, it's a couple of banknotes. Wow, this is like the fourth time I've gotten like former Yugoslav banknotes. That's crazy. Munib from Canada. Canada wristband. Bunch of flags. Whoa, whoa, a lot of them. Canada. You know that one. Flags! Flags! <laughs> he drew like all these incredibly detailed like mini maps. I I'm amazed how small you could write and draw. Thanks, Thanks a lot, Munib. Christopher from Florida. So he wrote a book all about his experiences. The true story of a German immigrant. Drew from Kansas City, Missouri. He has a box that has the Jamaican flag on it. Ugh. 
Oh. oh! Jamaica in carved wood form. That's so cool. And he writes a bunch of cool stuff about his experience when he was in Jamaica. That's so cool, man. All right, this is really cool. Uh, Ken, you got a letter for you. Oh, uh, Miguel from San Jose. Oh, he uh, he got a keychain from Guam. <laughs> oh my God, he wrote in Tagalog. <laughs> Can you read it? Um, I'll try. Forgive my like terrible accent, but guys, this, this is gonna be Ken at his most purest form. In purest form. <laughs> yeah. So, kumusta uh, kayong lahat? How's everyone? Gusto lang magsulat i sa yo dahil interesado ako sa iyong buhay at trabaho. Maganda ang trabaho mo para kay Barbie. Hindi maganda ang aking Tagalog kasi hindi ko gagamit. Aro, aro. Miguel from the US Navy, thank you so much for the letter. I am gonna hold this dearly. Kevin from, oh, Puerto Rico! Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rican snacks, Puerto Rican mug, Puerto Rican flag, magnet. Hey, Barbs, I'm Kevin. I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. I've been watching since the Malaysia episode. Ah, so you're kind of fairly new, okay. We, we welcome all newbies. I know it's not a country, but I hope you make a Puerto Rico episode one day. P.S. I hope one day you get to visit Puerto Rico and I hope you can show this on your channel. Kevin. I would absolutely love to visit. Not only is it easy for us because we're Americans, yeah. but also it's, it's it's a really fascinating place, unlike any other Latin American uh, area. Well, we got one from Is Switch, Massachusetts. Oh, we got a book. 50 Great States. You gotta love this drawing. Switch. Thanks, Seamus. Thank you, Seamus. All right, next, Ginters from Latvia. Whoa. Yay. Oh, a little tiny flag. Is this Latvia flag? Oh. Yeah, that's the Latvia flag. You did the Latvian blood of those who fought for the country. I thought there was an emblem on it or oh something. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, oh okay. God. Uh, I don't know why you're still working for me. I should go back to my gauge. Clear, clearly. Sends all these cool uh, Latvia postcards. Latvian chocolate covered marshmallows. How is it? Wow. Eastern Europe does the best meringue and marshmallows, I swear. All these different flags and maps. Latvia. Latvia. Newman from Oregon. Oregon. So this is really interesting. So Manny, he has has muscular dystrophy. He made ointment. Uh, it's a CBD rub. Oh, oh CBD. controversy! We are Californians, so we are pretty uh, knowledgeable on what this stuff is. Ken, how about you explain for the audience? CBD is non-psychoactive. It is actually used for medical purposes such as back pain, pain reliever, anti-anxiety, antidepressant, anti-inflammation, anti-inflammation. Basic English, no crazy stuff in it. <laughs> Good yeah. stuff. It's a little controversial because not all states have uh, approved, but uh, uh, in many states, including the one we live in right now, California, it is legal. We got a package from Robert, uh, Michigan. Whoa, uh, a lot of stuff. Whoa, a lot of stuff. Yeah. Baseballs. Baseballs. <laughs> Classic baseball hats. Hi guys, it's RJ from Warren, Michigan. I work at a minor league ballpark in Utica, Michigan. Oh, okay. Is, there are four teams. The Unicorns, the Diamond Hoppers, Beavers, and Wooly Mammoth. You like a Unicorn Utica shirt? Dude, <laughs> I would love a Unicorn <laughs> Utica shirt. That actually sounds pleasant to hear, Utica Unicorn. <laughs> Ken now is the proud owner of the Utica Unicorns shirt. Go Unicorns! John, who is from Mississippi. M I S S I S P. When you were a kid, did you ever count uh, saying Mississippi? It's like one Mississippi, two Mississippi. Oh yeah, yeah. It was that or one one thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's part of our American heritage and culture. Yeah. Hey Paul. Oh, he actually wrote Paul, not Bars. Whoa. Ooh, you're, oh, you're very whoa. formal. He goes to Bellhaven University in Jackson. All right. I really appreciate you giving my hometown credit where credit is due in your cities episode. And he sent us uh, some souvenirs, all made in Mississippi. Two candles and a mug. Really cool Mississippi postcards. Oh, oh yes. Devereaux Mississippi Natchez hot sauce. We got a box from Truman from Arizona, uh, Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> Truman, this is the funniest letter, man. There, there, there's, a, there's a picture on this. Instead of firing Ken, just put him back in his cage <laughs> and put him in a dark and heavy blanket over his cage. The Alabama flag. Shot glass. Vulcan. Uh, what have we here? Birmingham, Alabama. Alabama, oh, uh, and ham. Okay, got it. Alabama and Michigan, unicorns and ham. Yeah, and uh, so that's just about it before we go. You know what time it is? Return address contest. Why do you say address? I say address. Well, it's so weird, we pronounce the word differently. Isn't it ad I've always said address my entire life. What's your address? Wow, that's weird. That we, is weird. We, we grew up on different sides of the country. Whoa. I say pop, you- Whoa. I say soda. Who says other? pop? Like, <laughs> I say pop. So you know the deal? I put all your return addresses in this bag right here. Ken will pick one out and whoever wins will get this scratch off map. These maps are sponsored by Geography Peep Federico. He sells them on his website. Go to this link right here. It'll also be in the description. All right, Ken, so go for it. All right. All right, I found a name. I am pulling it out and it is 
Christian from Denmark. Con you just won. Congratulations. Yay. I want to try out this sauce. All right. I love hot try sauce. Try Mississippi style hot sauce. Go for it. Mmm. <laughs> It should go well with a steak or a burger. Ooh. Okay. I would have it in a burger. All right, well, thank you guys so much. Thank uh, you guys. You've just been flagged. Stay cool, stay tuned. Oh, you took it from me. You're fired. Oh, no. <laughs>